a new publication from the University of Wyoming is now available through the Wyoming Open Spaces Initiative. Targeting conservation easement purchases to benefit wildlife offers a new approach to help conservation buyers achieve the maximum benefit for wildlife. Conservation easements are voluntary agreements in which a private landowner sells the development rights to their property to a land trust or other NGO to keep the property from becoming developed. In recent years, easements have become a popular conservation tool because they protect open space and natural habitats while maintaining agricultural livelihoods. A common approach for targeting easements is to consider the costs and benefits. That is, an easement buyer weighs the cost of an easement against the ecological value of protecting the land to determine which properties generate the biggest bang for their buck. The strategic targeting method we suggest in this new publication goes one step further by considering a property's development potential. That is, the potential for the property to be developed in the near future. This approach allows conservation buyers to ask, are the development risks and ecological benefits sufficient to justify the cost, or would this investment better be targeted elsewhere? Though strategic targeting faces challenges on the ground, by contemplating the trade-offs between benefits, costs, and development potential, conservation buyers can focus their investments where they'll generate the most protection for wildlife.